Hey guys, I'm Damien Murray. Today you join us on another episode of the Luxury Home Show. I'm in Maidenhead today and behind me we've got a beautiful church house which was built in 1890. We're on the edge of Bray Village in the Fisheries Estate which is one of the most private and prestigious estates in the entire country. Great property and would you believe that this village has more Michelin star restaurants than any other village anywhere in the world. Enough of that, let's go and check out the property. So just like this ice cold December weather, this beautiful and historic home is quintessentially English. Built in 1890 with stunning features like the original fireplace, this house has so much character, so much charm. I do like to show the very modern and contemporary properties, but there's something so special about a house like this the bay windows, this big lounging area, very tall ceilings. The fireplace is just, I mean, on a day like today, and you imagine Christmas around the corner, just how beautiful this room will be. So as we walk back through the entrance hallway, to my left, we've got the downstairs washroom. And again, like mentioned before, another very traditional room. And I think a lot of people, they like the idea of the open plan kitchen, dining room experience but I love this to have my family around a dinner table in the winter during Christmas period six people around here what a great space so we have another sitting room this is where the current owners love to sit and watch the TV it leads straight into the kitchen and this addition I really like a dining table currently set up for six but easily eight people could sit in here very light lots of natural light flooding right through the property there's a doorway here that leads to a rear garden there's actually three gardens here large one in the front this one to my left and then a really really nice patio which i'll show you shortly and to my left we've got a storage cupboard perfect for bags boots and jackets and then we lead straight into this kitchen i really love this Beautiful little breakfast area. Very traditional features again. So over the last 20 years, the current owners, they have transformed this property beautifully, but it still retains that history, that charm. It's very elegant. It's a beautiful family home, and it's got six bedrooms, would you believe? So as we exit the kitchen, we've got one of two utility rooms. And what I really like about this one, obviously you've got space for jackets and boots. There's another doorway to my left. So if you do have dogs, if you go out for walks or riding your bike, you can actually come through this entrance, keep all of the mess away from the main house. So as we step down a few steps, we've actually got another utility space and a doorway here that leads to the double garage. And this patio is beautiful. So it's a nice private courtyard, dining area here for six, the big umbrella when it is nice and sunny. And I love all of these LEDs in the stairway. So again, it's got that nice subtle modern twist to it, big barbecue area. And this is the doorway that leads into lounge number two. So we have six bedrooms in the main house. And as I explained, we've got a separate doorway to my right here, which leads to what's currently being used as a bit of a games room, movie room, but this could easily be bedroom number seven or the perfect guest house. So we have three bedrooms on the first floor, one to my left. A nice long hallway which leads you to bedroom number two. So you have access to the principal suite from this door and you've also got another door which leads you into the ensuite bathroom or the family bathroom. So the principal suite is right above the main lounge with the fireplace. So we've actually got another fireplace here and very similar bay windows and you've actually got beautiful views of the countryside, lots of light flooding through, especially on a sunny day like today. And I can actually see some celebrity houses just in the distance. 
So the principal suite benefits from a nice walk-in closet and this bathroom I love. I think this is called a teardrop bath. I could be completely wrong, but it's freestanding, big sink, lovely shower, and the tiniest rubber duck I've ever seen. So as we exit the ensuite through the second doorway, we've got the staircase that leads us to the second floor. So we've got another two bedrooms on this floor. One is currently being used as the all-important home office. So we've got a double desk setup and the views beautiful. So bedroom number six has its own ensuite, but the other two bedrooms benefit from this gorgeous wet room, floor to ceiling tiles, huge rain shower head, beautiful house. Now let me show you the gardens and the gym. So as mentioned before, the property has three gardens. One of them, obviously the courtyard, this one being number two. So this is perfect for young kids or dogs. And obviously you've got the access from the conservatory. So now we enter the front gardens of Church House. Big driveway, easily you could fit six cars here. You've also got the double car garage. So being a father of three girls, young daughters, I know that they would love this grass area. Nice and spacious, very safe, nice and private as well, with all these mature trees and hedging around. Obviously you've got the office in the main house, but I know it's important for a lot of people, including myself, to be able to shut off from the main property, get away from the family if needed and have your own space. So this is currently set up as a gym. It's a beautiful gym actually. It's elevated. It's got heating in here, it's got electric in here, which is great. So this would either make the perfect gym, maybe a playhouse for the kids, or for me, the perfect outdoor office. So now you've seen the beautiful home, the lovely grounds and the gym. Now I'm gonna show you half the appeal of the property, the local area. So we're just two minutes from the property, would you believe? And we're next to two of the best restaurants in the country. You've got the Waterside Inn, incredible views, beautiful food. The Fat Duck, it's one of Heston's restaurants. It's an incredible experience. The food literally takes you on a journey. And then you have the Heinz Head just opposite the Fat Duck if you prefer something a little bit more traditional. So to the side of the property, allowing access to the path which leads down to Bray Village, the church and the cricket club. Opposite there is access to Braywick Nature Reserve, perfect for walking and exercising. The house is also situated in the Oldfield School catchment area, recognised as one of the leading primary schools in the area. And there's also buses for Reading, Bluecoat and other secondary schools. They stop on the Bray Road. Marlow, Windsor and Henley are all within 15 minutes of the property. The house is one mile from Maidenhead Station, which gains access to the Elizabeth Line, getting you to central London and into Canary Wharf in under an hour. Thank you for joining me today on the tour of this incredible family home in this world-class location. If you'd like your own exclusive tour or any further information, please contact me on the details that follow.